We're back headed south on the Transpontanero Highway. Sleepy capybaras line the road. They're the world's largest rodent, growing to 50 inches long and over 140 pounds. Iguanas are out enjoying the afternoon sunshine also. The ponds along roadside must have plenty of fish for all the fishing birds we've seen. The Southern Screamer is aptly named. It's near dusk now and the night shift starts to appear. The sun sets behind a cecropia tree as we arrive at the end of the road in Porto Joffre. Photographers are usually the first ones out to catch that golden morning light, but not here. The fishermen are already out on the river. It's a beautiful sunrise on a beautiful river. What a way to start the day. These black skimmers seem to be enjoying the sunrise too as we pass their sandbar. We interrupt a family of giant otters having their breakfast. Now we have their attention. I don't know who's the most curious, them or us. We turn around to see if we can get another look at the otters, but they're gone, leaving this kiskadi. We are on the Kiava River. Before the Transpontanera, Joffre was the port for shipping cattle to and receiving supplies from Kiava. We travel close to the river bank and look for wildlife. Black howler monkey calls can be heard several miles away. We take a brief stop along the riverbank to check for signs of jaguar. Our guide, Mateo, finds fresh tracks and says we'll come back here tonight when the jaguars are active. We head back to the dock, looking forward to lunch and hoping for a jaguar sighting tonight. We see dozens of great egrets. They're beautiful birds, especially in flight. It was dark when we arrived last night. After lunch, we have some time to explore the Hotel Porto Joffre. The hotel caters to fishermen. We were the only tourists alongside 30 or so fishermen. The Riverside duplex units are outfitted with a bathroom and four single beds. Even the phone booth is a fish. A lily pond at the hotel provides an opportunity to see Victoria Cruziana up close. This is a slightly smaller version of Victoria Amazonia, but it only occurs here in the Pantanal. The hotel also boasts a sizable flock of hyacinth macaws, the, an endangered species and the largest flying parrot. A large flock of noisy, white-eyed parakeets took up residence in a tree outside our door. A group of wood storks waited patiently outside the building where the fish were cleaned. It's time to find more pictures. We're 
headed back out on the river for Jaguar and Sunset. We're headed back to the area where Mateo found the fresh jaguar tracks. Mm. Mateo uses this strange contraption to call the jaguars. We listen quietly for a response. Mateo tries again, and we wait. Cormorants head for their roost tree. The sun is setting, so no jaguar tonight. We move on to looking for that great sunset picture. Time to head back. Mateo is amazing, navigating the winding river channels in the darkness. A cacophony of birds serenade us as we say goodbye to Porto Joffrey this morning. We'll use the truck for game viewing until we lose the morning light. Wolfgang checks to make sure no one gets left behind. Today is a travel day. We'll retrace our route along the length of the Transpontinera Highway, then back to Chiave, then fly to Campo Grande, where we'll spend the night. It's another beautiful day in the Pantanal. The usual suspects have come out to see us. There are 126 wooden bridges in the 149 kilometers of the Transpontanera Highway. All of a sudden, the driver stops and jumps out. Fresh Jaguar tracks. We stop to watch a Rufus Hernero building a nest. Their nests resemble old wood-fired ovens, so they're called oven birds. The bird seems to call out to its mate for another load of mud. And the mate arrives with just that. Then the first bird is off for another load. Someone thought the bony ridge between the caiman's eyes looked like the bridge of a pair of glasses, so spectacled caiman. We make a rest stop at the Pantanal Matagrosso Hotel. The hammocks are inviting but it's back on the bus. We have just gotten started on our journey today. As we get closer to Peconi, we see less marshland and more cattle country. Where there are cattle, there must be cowboys. These four were happy to pose briefly for pictures.
Then they wished us well, and it was back to work. It must be time for lunch. Looking at all those cattle makes us hungry for barbecue. Another hundred kilometers to Kiaba, and we're on time for our flight to Campo Grande. Our flight was uneventful, and we check into our hotel. Campo Grande is the capital of Mato Grosso do Sul, with a population of about three quarter million. <laughs> 